Hi, this is week two of learning how to read our music notes. Last week, we read a story called Meet the Clefs that showed us what the bass clef and the treble clef look like. We are going to read that story again today, and we are going to continue practicing how to read notes C, D, and E, and then we'll play a little game over here. Here is our story. Meet the Clefs. This is a story about a brother and sister who live together in a big house. Bass clef and treble clef. Remember we said b, b, bass lives on the b, b, bottom and t, t, treble lives on the t, t, top. They are very similar, but they are also very different. And remember, in between them is middle C. That's what this is, middle C, right there. Bass lives downstairs. Treble lives upstairs. Bass is left-handed. When he does things like draw or paint, he uses his left hand. Take your left hand and put it on top of base's hand. And then take your thumb and tap your thumb for finger one. Tap your pointer for number two. Tap your middle finger. Tap your ring finger for four. And tap your pinky for five. Good. Treble is right-handed. She uses her right hand to do things like write and throw a ball. Go ahead, put your right hand on top of treble and touch your thumb and touch your pointer and tap your middle finger and tap your ring finger and tap your pinky finger. Good job. Bass likes the color yellow. He only eats yellow food like bananas, lemons, and corn. Treble loves the color red. She only eats red food like cherries, strawberries, and raspberries. Bass and treble are both musicians. They sing and play many instruments. Bass plays low notes that sound like this. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Treble sings notes that are high like this. Ti, 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 ta, ta. Bass lives downstairs and treble lives upstairs, but there is one part of the house that they share. The floor in the middle, which they call middle C. A special line, right? A special line going through it. They will sometimes meet in the middle to sing and play music. When they are done singing and playing at middle C, Bass walks downstairs, singing the alphabet backwards. C, B, A. Treble goes up the stairs and sings the alphabet forward. C, D, E. The two clefs live in different parts of the same home making music, both equally talented and both sounding beautiful. Thanks for visiting, come back soon. So here we are back on our board, and which clef is this? Is this treble clef or bass clef? Good, it's treble clef. And last week we practiced drawing treble clefs. I'll give you a space in our Nearpod to draw them again today, but I really wanna focus on remembering how to read our notes. So if you remember, it doesn't matter what kind of rhythm you have, we're looking for the head of the note, right? The head of the note and whether there's a line going through it or not. That's what we're looking at. So our first note is middle C. Middle C has its own special line. It's not on one of the five lines that treble clef lives on, right? Treble clef lives on five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Middle C is not on one of these lines. It needs its own special line. D is underneath the first line. And C, I'm sorry, E is on 
the first line of treble clef's home. So over here, I created a separate space for us to play. And I'm going to take this whole note and put it here, and then you can tell me which note it is. So I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna put it here. Is that C, D, or E? It's on the special line. Good, that is C. Let's move our note. Which one do you think this is? It's not middle C because it's not, this line for middle C is not going through the head, but it's also not E because the line for E is not going through the note. So there's only one left that it could be. It's gonna be D because it's underneath the green line. So this is D. And then what is this? It's a note with the first line of the treble clef going right through the head. Hmm, which of our notes has a green line going right through the middle of the head? Oh, it's E, look. So here we go, I'm gonna move the note and I'm gonna stay quiet for a few seconds after I move it so you can look at the, the other notes and see if you can figure out which note this is and then I'll tell you the answer. Here we go. First one is D. It is underneath the green line for E, but over the middle line for C. Okay, here's our next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What note is this with the, the first line of treble clef going through it? This is E. So if you guessed E, you are correct. Let's do another one. What note do you think this is? Is it C, D, or E? If you guessed C, you are correct. It's, it's got its own special line going through the middle. I will do three more, and then I will move on to our games. Okay, here we go. What note is that? Look here if you need help. Notice if it has a line going through it or not. If you guessed middle C, you are correct. This is C with its own special line. I was trying to trick you. Okay, I'm gonna count to five in my head. And you're gonna tell me what note this is and we're gonna see if you're correct. If you guessed that this is E, you are correct, good job. Okay, last one, ready? What note do you think this is? Mm -hmm. Look here for some help. You are correct, that is D, good job.